Have you ever wondered how massive open source projects manage to maintain their code base in a clean and user-friendly way? Or perhaps how developers shield you from the complex underlying code, providing you smooth, straightforward, and easy to use interfaces, even in the most intricate libraries and frameworks? The secret weapon many choose is a simple, yet incredibly powerful design pattern, the facade pattern. It's not just a tool, but an art, mastered by seasoned developers to navigate through the turbulent seas of complexity within vast code bases, particularly in widely used open source libraries. The power everything from data science, web development, to artificial intelligence, all in Python. The best part? You probably already use it. Stick with me and I'll show you not just what the facade pattern is, but how you can leverage it to create truly beautiful user-facing Python code. Let's go. If you typically write in an object-oriented way, you've probably seen the facade pattern before, but you probably just call it abstraction. Let me explain. The facade pattern is a structural design pattern that provides a simplified interface to a larger body of code, such as a Python library. It can help to hide the complexity of underlying code and provide a simpler and cleaner API for clients to work with. Let me demonstrate with a Python example you probably already know. You're likely familiar with FastAPI, one of the most popular HTTP API generation frameworks for Python. FastAPI provides a class by the same name with a few methods that simplify the creation of an API with multiple routes, authentication, query parameters, and so on. This class is a facade over the underlying network and parsing code, which is far more complex and would be much more difficult for the average developer to implement. You could think of the facade pattern almost like a wrapper around one or many complex subsystems, making them easier to interact with. But that's enough talk. Let's write some code, shall we? Here is an example of a fairly generic payment processor. The usual way to process a payment with this class would be to first initiate the payment, then verify with the customer's bank and check that the payment has been completed. However, it might take some time for the payment to complete, so you'll probably have to check more than once. Here's an example of what this process might look like. We initiate the payment, verify, then check the completion status up to 10 times before giving up. But that's a lot of code to expect a user to write every time they want to take a payment, especially if the systems are more complicated than this. Let's use the facade pattern to make their life easier. We'll create a payment processor facade class that takes in an API key and has a single method, pay. We can use most of the code we've just written in the pay method, making sure to use the facade's payment processor property instead of the one we created previously. And that's basically it. We can now export this facade class from our library and anyone who wants to take a payment can now just use the pay method. And if you'd like to pay me, too bad. All of my content is totally free. You could definitely subscribe though. Sometimes systems are more complicated. We might have to interact with multiple subsystems. Let's pretend we're creating an online store and we want to simplify the implementation of order processing for other developers. We have this simple database class here that's going to mock our database and we can use our payment processor facade from before. The order processor class will have a single method, place order, that will take care of taking payment and updating our database. Of course, in reality, your facade can have multiple methods that interact with different subsystems. But make sure you don't suddenly start throwing lots of unrelated code into one class. The place order method inserts the order into the database, takes payment, and then, assuming payment was successful, updates the database record. This example isn't massively complex, but you can imagine that we might also have to empty the shopping cart, email an invoice to the customer, and maybe top up some loyalty points. The facade pattern can really save your users a lot of work, so it's worth implementing if you want to speed up your team's development or have a popular open source library. Where have you been using the facade pattern without realizing it? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like learning about other design patterns, you might enjoy this video here, where we do a deep dive into the strategy pattern in Python.